Hey there YouTube, AJ here. And in my last video I said I was gonna take a break and do something more for aesthetics on the car. And uh, what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is build my grill insert for the grill shell. To, uh, you know, something to kind of complete the look and protect the radiator other than this piece of cardboard. And the reason I think I'm gonna do that now has, I don't need to do that at all right now. That has no bearing on getting the car running. But, you know, that can definitely be something put off until much later. But this is something that's been on my mind, how I'm going to do it, what I'm going to use for quite some time now. It's one of those things that just keeps gnawing away in the back of your mind. And I keep just trying to, how am I going to do that? What, you know? And then this week, I was actually tearing apart an old grill to be thrown away and salvaging some of the stainless steel out of it because, you know, that's what I do. Anyway, I uh, had an idea. So this is the top of that grill and I got to looking at it and previously I was thinking like using a thicker stainless and kind of carving the grill insert out of it to give it some depth. But I was looking at this top and noticed how they had stamped these lines in it here probably to give it strength, probably to give it a look, I don't know. Regardless, it made me think, well, what if I took thinner stainless steel and stamped ribs into it and then cut slots? So I have a small bead roller and I thought maybe I could try to do that. So the first thing I did to finish my salvage was I went ahead, took this thing, took this badge off, drilled out the spot rivets in the side and detached it and made it just this piece and I was thinking well if I can get this straightened out flattened it's big enough I could at least use it for proof of concept even if it doesn't work out like it I mean one of the things I've got this hole in the center to deal with that's where the temperature gauge went through there and no matter what I do I'm not gonna get it perfectly flat but it might be good practice to waste this piece and see what I can do as part of the proof of concept, I also took, got out my little bead roller thing here and used a piece of scrap and just wanted to see what it would look like. I measured out, I marked one inch between these, three quarter inch between these, or half inch between these and three quarter inch again and then one inch again. I should Anyway, just to kind of get my spacing, see what it looked like and to see how well it would work. Now this piece of metal was very less than ideal it had been folded i unfolded it so it's really really junky metal that i did this if you look at the edge of it you can see where the bead rolls went in and shaped the metal and so i think it's actually a pretty good proof of concept where if i take and roll all these beads into the stainless and then cut the flat part out of the middle i would have like bar reminiscent to the bars on like a 32 Ford grill show I think so I think I'm gonna go ahead and waste a lot of effort and time and just see if I can kind of make one out of that grill top so going from there I think the first thing I need to do is just see if I can even get this piece flattened I don't know if it's gonna work or not but we're gonna well so far not too bad <laughs> that went better than I thought it was going to Ah, see, now we get a curve here. This one's, I don't know, it's different. These, the big main curve came out of it pretty well, but then we got these other curves. That might a little, prove a little more difficult. I also might need to relieve this. Uh, 
Well, it's definitely not as flat as I'd like to see it. I definitely don't think this is going to be our final piece. I'd like it to be because it was free. Okay, so I got the panel relatively flat, cleaned it up so it's nicer to work with. I think what I want to do next is actually make a buck of the grill shell opening. And to do that, I got to go remove the grill shell from the radiator. Okay, so I knocked up this uh, rough buck real quick, and it does two things. It's, it gets me my general shape, holds the grill while I work on it, and allowed me to rough out my size I need to cut my stainless steel to. Now I still need to allow for an edge to bend over on the this side, the top, and this side. This bottom here, this lip, will go under, and then it'll bolt through here. I'm gonna put another trim piece across that. That's my plan. Now the other thing it helps me work with is it's higher in the center here than at the edges. Um, so this grill is going to have not only, it's going to have some curvature this way. So I have to plan for that. Uh, it may not be a curvature, it may be more of a peak. I don't know yet to be quite honest. We'll just have to see how it goes I guess from here. I think first I need to find a new Sharpie and then find our center on our stainless and start laying out our shape. Well, I got it roughed in. Uh, we're not fitting up here quite yet. Uh, everything else is fitting pretty good. Uh, obviously, you got a lot of finish work to do with the, uh, the with the hammer and dolly, but you know, right now, it's more about getting it kind of fit in here. I basically need this needs to have like a little dip in it, like so. This can be dented in a little bit more. This definitely needs to be taken out, this peak here. And this needs to be flattened back out where this corner is rolled over. This side doesn't look too bad overall. I mean, obviously a little trim work here and there, but yeah. Not too bad for the first go at it. Kind of looks cool. Kind of digging these little indents in it. I got to thinking, it's like maybe I should just punch big speed holes in it and just go with um, 
more like a racetrack look with the big round holes dimple dyed. You could like do some down at an angle on each side and up. I don't know. I still think I'm going to go ahead and try to create my bar grills out of uh, using my bead roller like I explained. Uh, it's going to be a little more difficult than I thought because I can't get to the center. I'm, I thought I could get all the way up to like right here, but I can actually only get to about here. So coming in from each side, I'm going to have a strip in the middle to, to deal with. We'll have to figure out something about that. But uh, right now, I think uh, I'm going to take it apart again and try to work on getting this to fit. Okay, it's not fitting perfect yet. It probably never will, be honest. Uh, but it's pretty darn close for now. Got to put our trim badge back in. But uh, yeah, I got a slight more bit of gap than I want up here, but I think it'll be okay for now. I did have to put some curve into it this way to get it to match up here and here. Uh, I did do a bunch of relief cuts. But from here, especially around these bins, I had to put in a bunch of leaf cuts. I think at this point, I think, yeah, I think I can go ahead and start laying out lines. Maybe trying to throw some beads in there. At some point, I'm going to need to learn to weld stainless steel so I can weld this stuff back together. At this point, I still don't think this will actually end up being my grill insert. Unless it really starts going a lot better. It might just be for fun for a while. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll end up making it better than I think. But uh, for now, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pop this out and start laying out lines for the bead rolls. Well, as you can see, I got it all laid out and spared you guys the agonizing boredom of watching me draw a bunch of lines. Um, no, I, I, hopefully you can see there's nothing on this side because I was getting ready to lay everything out on this side and I realized because of the way my dies are, I need to lay it out on the back side because the upper die will be pushing the bars out to the front side. So the, the curved side will be to the front of the grill. So thankfully I did realize that before I laid it all out on here. I started to, but, but I caught it right before I uh, really got into it. So that's good. Anyway, so I laid it all out on the back side here. Hopefully you can see that now. And uh, basically the blue tape is where I don't want to bead roll past. And then the lines up and down are going to be my grill bars because that'll be where the die pushes out. And then the space in between will be where I cut out for my openings. Hopefully that'll all work. I, now I could not come up with a pattern that made this, these little, whatever you call these things, these accent bead lines, whatever. I couldn't come up with a pattern that made them look right in the grill. I tried a bunch of different things, never was happy with it. So I decided I'm going to do away with it. And I was going to hammer this flat before I bead ruled, but that's going to distort my shape. And it's also going to rework these edges and possibly overwork them. So instead I decided looking at how the lines intersected with them, I'm just going to try to bead roll through these and hopefully they'll come out. Okay. We'll see. Uh, and then as I said, my, the jaws on my little bead roller here aren't going to be enough to reach clear to the middle, so there will be a center bar left in this. Hopefully that'll look all right. But as I've said multiple times, this is really just practice. I don't expect to end up using this actual piece. I mean, it'd be nice if I end up being able to. It's nice enough I can, but you know, this is more or less just practice for me. We are going to put it there to start lock in our upper jaw this bolt will tighten down 
And the way I figure I'm gonna have to do this is make lots of passes. I'm gonna have to tighten it down a little bit, run the whole length back and forth, tighten it down again. I don't know how many times I'll have to do that for each one. I just know it's gonna be a lot. <laughs> We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 times 2. So we got 28 bars to make here. Well, if we don't start, stop talking about it, we'll never get it done. Right. And we're going to go a half turn on the first pass. And quite honestly, I don't expect these to be straight. Doing this by myself the way I am. There went my wrench. Another half turn. And you know, honestly, if I was going to be using an original grill grill insert, chances are I wouldn't be able to afford a nice one anyway, and it would be all beat up and twisted bars anyhow. So what's it really matter? I think if we do one more half turn, which means four total, I think that'll be it. This should be our final pass on this one. Well, for better or worse, we have a bar in it. All right, I don't know if you can see it, but there's bar number one. It's not perfectly straight. It's not perfectly ended. Hopefully we can address that a little bit later. And it uh, looks like we're gonna have a pretty big bar in the middle here, which I really didn't want. So I don't know, we might have to do something there too. I don't know. Maybe I can find somebody with a bead roller with more depth that I could finish it out. We'll see. For now, we'll just go ahead and continue. Like, we know what we're doing. Thank you. 
Well, you win some, you lose some, I guess. Learned a lot. It was going well. I thought if I started on the center and worked my way out, doing this one, this one, that one, basically working my way out on each side at the same time, I thought that would minimize the distortion of my panel. And it was going well. And then I realized these gaps look a lot wider than I planned. Come to find out, I was doing every other line. So I was like, okay, no big deal. I'll just go back in and put the edges. So I continued out this side, got all the way out here to the edge, and went back to put the one in the middle of this one and this one. And as I'm doing it, I didn't realize it, but it was really difficult to do. And then I realized, oh crap, I am completely flattened out that rib there. And as it turns out, the gap between my dies here is nothing. And that was squishing flat the rib next to it when I was trying to put the one in the middle. So I stopped because, you know, there's no sense going on if you're just going to flatten out every other one again. And plus it was really hard to do. And, uh, you know, what can I say? The other thing I found out was when I got out to the edge, I basically had to hammer over my flange here because it was catching, it wouldn't go through the die blocks here. So that was a problem. In general, it's safe to say this is not going to be my grill shell. I don't think it's even going to hang on my wall. I thought, you know, if it was a failed experiment, it might be good enough looking to hang on the wall. But, you know, it's going to the trash. Yeah, what can you say? You know, it's not that I didn't learn anything. I did learn a lot through the process. I have a buck that I can refine a little bit, make it a little bit better for my next go around at this. Uh, I'm not going to do that anytime soon. I think I'm going to get back to work on the body. But uh, this was a fun little project and I learned a lot. I'll try to scrounge up some more stainless steel. And when I do, we'll give it another shot. Some projects are winners, some are turkeys. Speaking of turkeys, happy Thanksgiving to all my uh, American friends. And uh, I guess we'll catch you on the next time when we start working on the body. Until then, like, comment, subscribe, please. Subscribe, subscribing if you can. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps me out. So, uh, till we get back on that body. Later, YouTube.